one between Kentucky and Ohio over a rock. No, not that one, a rock, pulled out of the river that separates the two states. Steve Hartman has the story in tonight's Assignment America. Steve Schaefer is an upholsterer, most known not for recovering chairs and pillows, but for recovering a long-lost piece of history. I just wanted to reach out through the mist of time and touch it, to be real honest with you, and to see if it was still there. He's talking about Indian Head Rock, an eight-ton boulder that used to sit in the middle of the Ohio River near the town of Portsmouth, Ohio. As boulders go, it was a fairly popular one. Back in the 1800s, people used to come out to see the face, carved there by Indians, some people said. A few visitors did a little carving of their own, until about a hundred years ago, when the river got dammed and the rock got flooded. Steve says when he first heard that story as a boy, it planted a seed in his mind. That someday it might be found. For three summers, Steve and some dive buddies scoured the rocks on the river bottom to no avail until out of the murk. I swam around the rock and, and there it was. The face. Then you start to see initials. No doubt, Steve Schaefer had found Indian Head Rock. And that's where this story could have easily, some say should have definitely, ended. But Steve was so excited about finally finding this rock, he wanted to share that joy with others. So he did what a lot of people do when they find a particularly interesting rock. He picked it up. At that point, did it ever cross your mind that there could be jail time in this? No, no absolutely not. Unfortunately for Steve, Ohio is just the name of the river. At least along this border, it actually belongs to Kentucky. Hey, I'm mad. Kentucky State Representative Reginald Meeks. First of all, I couldn't believe that, that individuals from one state could brazenly come across the border and, in, and basically invade another sovereign state. House Resolution 12, a resolution condemning the removal of Indian Head Rock. He even wrote a resolution which passed unanimously. We would ask that they return our property to us Ohio fired back. If they're going to introduce a resolution, then I want to introduce a resolution. Ohio State Representative Todd Book represents the people of Portsmouth. We have the right to this rock. If they knew where it was, why didn't they go get it? I mean, didn't they, in essence, abandon this? For now, Indian Head Rock sits in the Portsmouth Municipal Garage, enjoying the spotlight once again, waiting for the courts to sort it all out. If Kentucky wins... Not only could Steve be sent upriver for felony theft, the rock could be sent downriver, back to where it was before all this started, back to forgotten. Steve Hartman, CBS News, Portsmouth, Ohio.